Hi, I'm Dala and today we're embarking on a very exciting project and that is performance upgrades for the Leaf. Let's get started. So, I am a massive petrol head, always have been. So when I got into the Leaf game, I of course wanted to see if there was some way to increase the available motor output. Uh, 80 kilowatt is nice, but um, I'm always itching for more. So um, I hopped on the internet and uh, I saw some kind of sketchy products. Some people were claiming that they were able to increase the output by reflashing the VCM. And um, that got me thinking. I then conducted some experiments. I um, tried to install a can bridge and um, increase the motor demand, uh, the newton meter demand messages, but the motor would not output any more power than the 80 kilowatt limit. So uh, it is limited by the firmware inside the like actual inverter that sits on top of the motor. So there is no way to increase power by flashing modules etc. However, the newer leaf is 110 kilowatt and the E plus is even more. What if we could take the components and uh, put them into the older leaf? That is what we are about to try here. Uh, this will only be for the 2013 plus models, so if you have a 2011-2012 ZD0 leaf, this won't be for you, unfortunately. But let's continue. Uh, before we go swapping components, I need to explain a bit how the leaf system works. Uh, on the actual motor itself, there is a resolver. Uh, this resolver has an offset uh, built into it. When it was manufactured and installed on the motor, uh, there are some tolerances there and they need, they need to be very tight. So the offset is measured and stamped on to the motor. The offset then is written into the inverter when the leaf get produced and if you ever replace the motor or the inverter you need to put in the correct offset again for your configuration. And um, that is where we are starting today. So I visited a friend, massive thanks to Yari, aka the Houtis, for helping me out here. So we went and we connected an official tool, uh, these very expensive tools that you use when maintaining the leaf. And um, I took a can log while we were doing this operation of reading back the resolver offset and also then writing in a new resolver offset. I just wrote back the same thing again, I, I didn't want to break the car. But I have now uh, saved these commands and um, I will analyze them a bit and um, yeah, this is quite technical. So let's jump to the computer and uh, continue from there. Okay, so we're back at the computer. I uh, got the log file right here that we took while uh, reading and writing the offset. So let's fire up uh, CanRunner since I was using that program when I took this log file. I'll just spin up a virtual CAN channel and uh, I will go to, uh, no, not log to file. I will uh, play back this uh, old log. Uh, here we have it. And uh, if I just press here file once and if you look at the data, there's a lot going on. Uh, there's actually too much information going on here. Uh, but we will isolate the important stuff. So let's stop this. And um, we will we'll set up a filter. I know for sure that the service command messages, uh, they lie in the range of uh, hex 700 or above. So that should be... Uh, wait a minute, it should be, there, here we go, 
So I set up this filter that uh, in order to pass the message must have a minimum of uh, hex ID 700. So let's apply that filter and let's uh, clear the screen and let's play the file once. I know for sure that we started and we read the ID and then it took a while and then we wrote the ID back. But let's focus on the reading now. So wait a minute, am I missing something or? Oh, it actually took some seconds before it started, but let's see. Oh, there we got something. Um, doesn't seem like, maybe this is some, oh, wow, there we go. Now that's a lot of data. Let's stop here. Stop. Um, so this was maybe some still alive stuff and um, then we got the actual write request. So let's take all these messages and uh, let's create a new file. Let's rename the, this one to read resolver ID. There we go. And uh, so these are the messages responsible for reading. Uh, the first one was uh, probably a still alive message. Uh, next we have actually uh, this module that is uh, asking and this one is replying. So 784 is the diagnostic tool. And uh, yeah, if I look at the data here I can see some of the resolver uh, info here actually so yeah 78c is the response so this is asking uh, so this might be the this might be the message to initiate this uh, request please tell me the resolver offset and the next one here is uh, is maybe some length control like like I can tell you it is this long and uh, then we say probably I'm just guessing this but uh, this one is probably go ahead send and here we actually get the number the first number. So this is here is number 86 and then it goes FFF. So we only got this number and then we probably need to say please send more. And um, then we get two other values. Oh, so that is here is number 0, 0 and 14. Yep, that looks about right. Uh, then again, one of those, uh, please send more. And uh, finally, then we get the last numbers. Here is number 0, 0, 5, 5. And uh, this one, I don't know. Maybe some acknowledge all numbers received. Maybe something like this. Uh, I have no clue what the rest here is. So question mark. But at least we got the actual numbers out. So this is a good start. And uh, this, yeah. I think you get the gist of how to reverse engineer this. Uh, after this, I'm gonna be looking at the actual writing also. But before I do anything, I will extract uh, the commands that have this um, 784 ID and I will try to replicate it with another leaf and see if I get the correct response messages. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. and. Uh, 
I am so excited for this project. Now we have all the boring groundwork done in order to actually perform an inverter replacement properly. And uh, oh, I'm just so excited. Uh, thank you so much to all my Patreon supporters. Uh, like I wouldn't be able to bring you this quality reverse engineering content without you. You guys are awesome. So if you want to support making these upgrades possible for the Leaf, consider hopping onto Patreon. Uh, I'm gonna go continue with the inverter upgrade. See you in the next one. Bye.